Hey Harry Potter fans, Peter Kenneth here. Welcome back to the Potter Collector channel where we are a community of collectors. Today I am showing you everything that I purchased at the Harry Potter store in New York City. There is a lot to show you, so let's get started. All right, first things first, the shirt. This is from the Harry Potter store in New York City. It's an exclusive to that store, and it features Fox the Phoenix outlined in gold paint. If you saw the grand opening video that I posted of the store, you saw this shirt in that video. And if you haven't, check the description down below. I have posted three separate videos of this magical store. One is a full shop tour, so going through the entire store, showing you the different merchandise and prices, the different rooms. The second one is all about the Butterbeer Bar, and the third is a vlog about the grand opening, and it features a lot of you Potter Collector community members. Before we get into the merchandise, I did film a very fun speed shopping spree. So let's take a look at part of that. All right guys, so we're gonna go on a super fast shopping spree. And there was something in this room that I really wanted. You'll see all these rooms when you see the full tour video, but this is the house themed room. This is a must, brand new hoodie. Oh no, the spirit jersey too. These new house spirit jerseys also. Look at that. Got it. Okay, let's see what else. So there's a special promotion on Chocolate Frogs right now, $5. The tin is also on sale. Need a New York Butterbeer. Oh, we gotta get the Butterbeer. So I am gonna get a Butterbeer Stein. Thank you so much. You're and all of them are half off too. Keep that in mind when you're grabbing them. Thank, Thank you. you. Love this. I love that it's glass. Take one of these. They're gonna look great on my shelves. Butterbeer pen. It's going in the bag. All right, I think we're good here. Wands, gotta go to a wands next. This golden snitch wand, beautiful. You can only buy it here at the Harry Potter store. I don't see it. I don't see the golden snitch wand. <laughs> oh, it's up here. I was so nervous. All right, this room next. Have to get one of these too. Let's go downstairs to the cellar. Eventually I'm gonna have to purchase a set of Harry Potter books with these special stickers on it, but we're gonna wait until another time. These note cards are beautiful. $5 each. Dumbledore's Chocolate Frog Lenticular Note Card. Daily Profit little clippings. And they're little cards that you can give to Harry Potter fans and it has a lenticular picture in it. I think that's everything I had my eye on for this trip. So let's go upstairs and pay and check out. So let's take one more look in here. Did love this a lot, but I'm gonna skip that. I don't know, what do you think about this one, Tim? It's cool, kinda 80s. Yeah, very. These hoodies I thought are so cool, specific to the Harry Potter store. They also have t-shirt versions. Dumbledore's my favorite, so I have to go with a Phoenix. Guys, there's literally so much merchandise here, it's crazy. Hey. Oh, got some lot of stuff there. <laughs> I mean, there is a big promotion, so I might as well get one more chocolate frog. Oh, that's a haul. We have a haul. Let's see. We got those chocolate frogs. Uh, All about the chocolate frogs. Uh, uh, do you want the paper bags or do you want the waterproof bags? Yeah, we have a couple different styles of the waterproof bags. Can I have to go with the butterbeer one? I was going to say the butterbeer one. You can leave us a sign. Daily Profit. Actually, no, this is the New York Ghost. Oh, the New York Ghost. Yes. yes. Well, let's take it. Oh, we're in New York. So, $4 each for the waterproof bags, and those paper bags are five cents. Oh, that's cool. Those are awesome. Yeah, yeah. I'll buy one of those. So what's been the best part of your day so far? Honestly, just sharing the store with people. Like we've been building it for so long that being able to like welcome in people and it's getting everyone excited is like I've been. Here's my muggle plastic. <laughs> I love it. Thank you so much. Have a great rest of your night. Thank you. We'll see you at the grand opening. Bye. 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 All right. See ya. So needless to say, I went a little bit crazy with my galleons. And the stuff that you see here is partly from that shopping spree you just saw, as well as items I purchased during the grand opening. All right, let's take a look at the first item. This is a limited edition print by Mina Lima one of 250 worldwide. It has already sold out. And if you don't know about Mina Lima, they are the duo who created all of the artwork, designed most of the beautiful props that we all know and love in the Harry Potter films. So they did this special print just for the New York City store. Take a look at this. So it shows the Harry Potter store here. And then on top of the Harry Potter store is the New York City skyline. At the top, it says Harry Potter New York. And then at the bottom, it says opening 2021. And it has been signed and numbered by Mina Lima. Now I chose to go with number 77 because 
two sevens, you know, seven is a magical number. So 77 is now in the Potter Collector Library. And on the back is a certificate of authenticity showing that it is an authentic Mina Lima print. Mina Lima has a special room or store within the Harry Potter store and they sell all of their prints and you're gonna see some more Mina Lima items as we go along through this haul. Wands, so I purchased not one, not two, but every single special wand that you can purchase from the New York City store, totaling 15 wands. Now I say they're special, they're the special Hogwarts house wands that you may have seen over social media, as well as wands like the Phoenix wand, the Thestral wand, and the Golden Snitch wand. Now we're not gonna go through all the wands in this video because I'm gonna do a separate video featuring every single one of these wands. I'm gonna show you the Golden Snitch wand, which is exclusive to the New York City store, but I'm gonna randomly pick two other wands to show you guys in this video. So this one, this one down here. The Ravenclaw mascot and the Sword of Gryffindor wand. Keep an eye out for that video about all these wands. You are gonna flip out when you see them if you have not already seen them. And you'll understand why I had to purchase all of them. All right, let's go with the big boy right here, the Golden Snitch Wand, the exclusive. Check out these new wand boxes. So on the front it says Wizarding World, Harry Potter, exclusive design collection. I love the colored strip on these. Each one of the wands has a different color. And then on the end is a little label telling you which wand is inside. There's a little card telling you about that special wand. Wand, and then the wand is covered with this paper and inside is the golden snitch wand. If you didn't know, I am a seeker on the Slytherin Quidditch team, so this wand is right up my alley. And I hope that Wizarding World comes out with wands specific to the other Quidditch balls. Take a look at that beautiful wand. So we have the Quidditch ball here, and then the wings are just stretched along the shaft of the wand. And then there's a fun wavy design going all the way to the tip of the wand. Really beautiful. This sold out at the grand opening. I think that they're back in stock, but it sold out really, really fast. As of now, you can't purchase this online. You have to go to the Harry Potter store in New York. Check out this wand. The handle itself is detailed with designs and gold with a red gem at the base of the wand. There are Gryffindor shields implemented in here. And then the wand shaft itself is a wood color. The Ravenclaw mascot is blue and it is unfortunately in the shape of a raven, but still an awesome wand. It's almost like the raven is just soaring through the air with his wings and feathers just latching onto the wand itself. The eyes are shiny, which gives it some life. It's a stunning wand. So again, we will look at each of these wands as well as the other ones in more detail. All right, let's take a look at this bag here. This is the Butterbeer and Sweets bag. The Harry Potter store has a line of reusable bags that you can purchase. This is the Butterbeer option, has a bunch of designs on it, people making Butterbeer, people drinking Butterbeer. And then I'll show you the other reusable bag that I purchased. And I think there are like six, seven or eight of these bags, different designed bags available. All right, so first things first, Butterbeer bottles. We now have Butterbeer bottled. And if you are vegan or vegetarian, this is a vegan product. Now it doesn't come with the delicious foam on top. It's just the drink portion of Butterbeer. But take a look at these bottles. Now, one of them is one that you've probably seen before on social media, both with labels designed by Mina Lima. And then this label, this Makusa label, Makusa stands for the Magical Congress of the United States. This label was designed exclusively for the Harry Potter store in New York City, and you can only purchase it there. The next Butterbeer item is a mug exclusive to the Harry Potter store. So a lot of these items are gonna be exclusive to the Harry Potter store, so you may hear me say that a lot. But this is the mug that you can specifically purchase at the Butterbeer bar in that store, and this is what you're Butterbeer comes in. Fun plastic mug with the Butterbeer design on it, and these are dishwasher safe. I also purchased a Butterbeer mug that is glass, which is really cool. So here is this Butterbeer Stein or mug. Very heavy, well-made, thick glass mug. And this is not dishwasher or microwave safe. Your fragile items are wrapped in this tissue paper with the Harry Potter store logo on it. So we see the Deathly Hollows, a Golden Snitch, a Niffler, and then a lightning bolt at the bottom. So literally everything is magical. The paper, you can purchase magical bags. You really feel like you're in the wizarding world. All right, I also purchased some candy, some chocolate frogs. They were having a promotion where these were $5 each, but I think they were $5 each because they expired this month. But then I also bought the chocolate frog tin, which has five chocolate frog cards in it. 
And then this was $10, normally $20, again, because it expires this month. And then I also wanted to show you the pin that you can win if you do the scavenger hunt in the Harry Potter store. If you are unaware of the scavenger hunt, check out my grand opening video. I tell you all about the scavenger hunt, but I forgot to show the prize, this exclusive pin badge featuring the griffin or the entrance to Dumbledore's office. Now it is plastic, it's not hard enamel, but still an exclusive fun item to collect if you go to the Harry Potter store. All right, now I had a Butterbeer pin that I purchased and I'm not seeing it in these bags, but it's like a stained glass window. Check out my Instagram at the Potter Collector. I previously posted a picture of that pin there and I really hope a Niffler didn't take it because it was a really cool pin. All right, next up, this is not from the Harry Potter store, but it is a Phoenix and it is from the Wizarding World. I am super excited to have partnered with Wizarding World to bring you guys a giveaway. You have an opportunity to win the Harry Potter Fan Club Pin Seeking Limited Edition Fox the Phoenix enamel pin. This thing is huge. This thing is beautiful. It's one of 500 worldwide. It's already sold out. This may be the only place you have an opportunity to get one. Check this thing out. Out. So Beautiful Fox is in flight and comes with its own embossed hexagonal box display. And if you're part of the Harry Potter fan club, there are scannable enchanted keys, which when you use them with the Harry Potter fan club app, will unlock surprise content about this one of a kind pin. As I mentioned, the pin is sold out. It sold out the day it was released. Wizarding World was so kind to offer a second pin. This one's mine, you can't have this one. For me to offer to one of you guys. So check the description down below to find out how you can win this Fox pin, which will be sent directly from Wizarding World to you. All right, let's take a look at this other bag. Now this is really fun because we have a new newspaper. This is the New York Ghost. So we have the Daily Prophet in England. Here's the New York Ghost. And the headline is Magical Disturbances Risk Wizarding Exposure. Makusa on Max Alert, full report on page 13. Take a look at these headlines. You can pause the video if you want and read some of this. It's just such a cool bag. And then on the back, it says Harry Potter New York. And then also inside of the bags are these little flaps or pouches so you can stick things like your phone or whatever you need to easily access in here. All right, so we have some paper products from Mina Lima. They make some beautiful cards some beautiful postcards. These were the ones that I had to get for the collection. So here we have their design of Birdie Bots Every Flavor Beans with gold foiling on it. Isn't that stunning? And then I also had to get their chocolate frog design and wait till you see this. It's a lenticular card. Isn't that cool? I mean, if someone gave me this for my birthday or something, I'd be freaking out. Not only is the card lenticular, but there's gold foiling around the packaging of the chocolate frog box itself. And then the other two cards were these newspaper clippings. They have a line of newspaper clippings and they are of the Daily Prophet, so mass breakout from Azkaban. And this card is also lenticular and 3D too. I mean, this is just ridiculously cool. And then the other, Dumbledore, is he daft or is he dangerous? Not only are these cool to give to someone for a special occasion, these would be perfect to frame and display. So many uses, so many uses for Harry Potter items. And then the other items I got from Mina Lima were these different postcard sets. So you never know in the future, there may be an owl delivering one of these postcards to you from me. This one is the Hogwarts series. It features a variety of different postcards. Here we have the Weasley's Wizard Wheezes set. And you can find a variety of Weasley's Wizard Wheezes shop items and just fun paper product designs. The Daily Profit set. And there are 20 different Daily Profit clippings. And last but not least, the Ministry of Magic set. And it features a mixture of wanted posters and proclamations. All right, what's next? We have clothes. So you saw this shirt already, but first let's take a look at these bags. So you can also walk out with these paper bags, which features the Harry Potter store logo on the front. And then on this side is a daily profit clipping, which shows Dumbledore, is he daft or is he dangerous? And that's the design on the larger bags. On the smaller bags, we see this design, which tells us that the Death Eater numbers are growing. You may have seen me wearing this one on an Instagram post, but this caught my eye. It's a light gray hoodie. It's lined with black, with black ties. 
On the sleeve, we have the Hogwarts crest. And then on the front, it says Hogwarts in a Marauder's Map label design. Love this hoodie, super warm, super soft. Next up, our new house crew necks. So here is the Slytherin version. At the bottom, there's a nice striped design. We have the traits of a Slytherin or the traits of the other houses would be listed up here. So ambition, pride, and cunning with this cool new design. And then on the back, it says great ambition. Once again, very soft. If you have the other house crew necks where it just says the house name on the front, it feels just like those. Next up is a spirit jersey. Okay, so there are spirit jerseys out the wazoo at the Harry Potter store. Like I'm talking every room, there's like a spirit jersey. There are Hogwarts ones, Luna Love good ones, house spirit jerseys. And this one, of course, is the Slytherin one. And they are the official spirit jersey brand. On the front is a silver embroidered Slytherin crest. And then on the back, it says Slytherin. Now, originally I purchased a medium, which was way too large. So I went a size smaller to a small and then later learn that spirit jerseys run large. So just be aware of that if you're purchasing a spirit jersey, if you want it to fit like your normal size, buy a size down. Okay, this I'm super excited about, so we're gonna wait for that. Actually, no, let's talk about this because we're gonna put it on right now. One of the things that you can do at the Harry Potter store is personalize different items. You can even have wands engraved with your name on them. But this is very exciting. No matter what your house, you can purchase a tri-wizard jersey. And included in the price, you can have your name or a up to nine letters on the back. So of course I had to go with collector, Potter collector. Well, let's put this thing on. Here it is, I am ready for the Triwizard Tournament. We have a Hogwarts crest patch here. Each jersey will be in your house colors. This collector is ready for the task ahead. All right, two items left. Now this is a really cool shirt that I loved. Unfortunately, it's massive. It's a medium and it fits like a large. Now the Harry Potter store does have a fitting room, which I did not use. So I would just double check the clothing items that you're purchasing before you purchase them to make sure that they fit you. But I'm gonna take this back with me next time I go and then exchange it for a smaller size. But I am loving this new design for the Hogwarts houses. It's a really cool new logo for all the different houses. I love this kind of baseball style t-shirt. And then on the back is the Hogwarts founders relic. So here on Slytherin, we have Salazar Slytherin's locket. Just a cool little touch, I love this. And last but not least is another hoodie in a similar design to that t-shirt. Again, they have all four houses and the patches are kind of fuzzy like a varsity jacket. Three different colors, we have gray, green, and white. On the sleeve is that relic. So we have Salazar Slytherin's locket. Again, a really cool touch. And then at the bottom, we have that new Slytherin design. So that's what I purchased at the Harry Potter store. Once again, if you have not seen the Harry Potter store videos, check the description down below for a link, as well as how you can win this Fox the Phoenix pin from Wizarding World. What do you guys think about the items that I purchased? Was there something you're like, I really would love to have that? Was there something where you're like, mm, not so sure about that? Why did Peter purchase it? Let me know in the comments down below. If you have any questions about Harry Potter or collecting, feel free to ask. You can also join the Potter Collector community on Instagram at the Potter Collector or on Twitter at Potter Collector. Now it's time to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time. Keep collecting. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, welcome. You can subscribe right up here. You can also look at some previously posted content down here. If you have any questions about Harry Potter books or collecting, please feel free to contact me. I'm always happy to help. But for now, I must go. See you next time. Whoa, where'd he go?